I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the flow. We still in at the gas station. Breakfast. Making breakfast. Same every day. Yeah, literally the same every day. Oatmeal, fruit, peanut butter. That looks like a lot of oatmeal to be honest. Yeah. That's games training for you. It's hard to eat. <laughs> I'm making oatmeal. Like I've been making it for like four years, the same way every day. Even before Cossack? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've added more. This is 100 grams. I probably used to do like 50. <laughs> Olivia, how come it takes you a good 20 minutes to make your oatmeal in the morning? <laughs> Really? Does it really? It takes both of us a long I feel like it takes, yeah, I guess, I don't know. It's a process. Maybe oatmeal as often before you started staying with us? No. I would probably have it like twice a week, but it really is just so much easier. When... What did you used to have? Like eggs? Mm, I would have eggs on like rest days, but I actually don't even like eggs that much. Like, I got like burnt out of them. Well, on fruit, I just put it all in the same container. <laughs> Need to go to the store. I didn't even notice that until you pointed it out. Like, <laughs> I'm like, people are going to be like, where did you get this? No, it didn't come like this. <laughs> the fun pack. <laughs> yeah. It means I need to go to the store, but I don't have time. Yeah, I don't like peanut butter, and it's disgusting. I only like almond butter. I don't know but why. But just in oats? Yeah, just in oats. I was going to say, because you eat a gold bar every day. No, I love peanut butter, but not in oats. How do you eat plant protein? I really don't know. A while back, I thought I was, like, dairy intolerant. So, no way. But I don't think I am. But it just kind of stuck. And this kind of is so good. Both of you, have you ever taken one of those food tests? Like, what you're... No, but I want to. I'm gonna do that in the off season. Yeah, wait. I think I'm gonna do that in the off season too. Like, or like at least a blood test to get a lot of info. Liv, are you just becoming like a third well sister, kind of? Basically. <laughs> it's funny because when I was 17, I would have never been like, I need to get blood work done. I know. I'm old. Well, you know they make a uh, knife for that kind of stuff, right? I know, but I was already using it to cut up my fruit. She used a Actually, fork to eat her oat milk. What? One time I got her out a spoon and she not, put it back. I do not think that's weird at all. That's like serial killer stuff. Really? I've always done that. I don't even know if I know anyone that eats oatmeal with a spoon. Oh. Do you want peanut butter? <laughs> you really do it four times a day? Well, I do it every time for, I do it breakfast mm -hmm. and like at night time because I have oatmeal again. Basically anytime I eat almond butter, I have to get him peanut butter. So two times a day. And then Brooke. Gives it to him every time she eats peanut butter, which is two times a day. So he literally gives it four times a day. These people don't know. Where do you actually live? I actually live in Kansas City. And how'd you find yourself in Nashville? Just joined the proven team, and I already kind of knew like Sydney and Brooke, so it just worked out perfectly. Um, my training partner, Taylor, she was friends with them from like back home when they lived in Tulsa. Caffeine at all? No, I don't. I feel like it makes me jittery. I'm not tired, I don't need it. <laughs> I definitely did before college because I remember my freshman year, like I like cut caffeine out. So I was like struggling without it. Uh, it's maybe like junior year of high school. Were you strict? Like being a college athlete? Mm -mm. Like you ate whatever you want in college? I mean, I ate well, but I wasn't like strict. Like, I didn't measure anything. We had like a athletic training center where there was like a dining hall, so I just ate there every day. It was actually incredible. 
Like the buffet style ones? Mm hmm Yeah. And like back then you think the food is healthy so you like eat a lot of it and now I'm like I cannot believe I used to eat that. Okay, my mornings are pretty basic. I got up, had coffee, got ready and now I'm eating oatmeal. And then we'll head to the weightlifting gym and then to East to train the rest of the day. How long does the weightlifting gym usually take? I'm normally at the weightlifting gym for like two hours probably. Depending on what all we do. Are these left over from last week or this week? Those are from our birthday. I didn't touch them. This is a very basic lunch today. What is it? Just three ounces of ground turkey and 130 grams of rice. Normally I have to put sweet potatoes in here, but I don't have any, so. You just dry or do you take sauce with you? Just this. You eat that just. And I eat it cold. <laughs> I don't even heat it up. We started like training outside, like running and stuff in the mornings. And then I'd eat lunch and I would be so hot that I just didn't want hot food. Here's your lunch. I already made it, but it's basically the same thing, except I actually eat vegetables. Sydney doesn't like eating vegetables, but. Yeah, I don't understand <laughs> that. Like not while I'm training, I'll eat it at night. She has Brussels sprouts for lunch and then we go do Echo Bike. I'm like, no. <laughs> We're at weightlifting. How often do we do this? Two times a week, Tuesday and Friday. Are you the only one who comes? Yeah, I'm the only one. Why? Because I need to get stronger. What What is like the difference from being here than just being like at the gym and Shane or Dwight telling you, hey, do this and Yeah, um, I think Osmond has like a bit of a different approach and um, his cues are a bit different and even if they are the same they're worded a little differently and so it helps just he, hearing from someone else too is he intimidating mm -mm. No. no the gym's kind of intimidating it's really just me him and no music are you starting to see the workouts and you like get that nervous pit feeling in your stomach when they release every time Kind of. I mean, the ones that they've released, I kind of feel like we knew were coming. They're kind of vague, so you really don't know what it's going to be still. Cross country run, though. I know that. I feel like the only one that's obvious is the 5K and then the Olympic weightlifting one. The other ones are so vague. Do they keep you up, though? You know, like when something exciting is about to happen and you're just like... Yeah, oh. kind of, but like, I just hope that the stuff that I'm good at comes early on. That's kind of what I'm, keeps me up at night. <laughs> We're just doing kind of like the final touches um, on the weightlifting total before we kind of get into the week um, doing this kind of final deload phase. So what we're doing here um, is just working with Coach Osman here. I'm kind of getting like the last little bit of the idea of what the opener should be um, that she's going to tackle there, knowing what we can go in on a Saturday night, event nine, a um, little bit of tired legs, but knowing that Sid's one of those that recovers really well. So we're just going to plan on trying to figure out what that good safe jump is and then what that next jump should be, knowing that we only have those two lifts. Just the week before semis, we kind of just wanted to get some, like a little bit of eyes on her leading up into semis, but then knowing that we were just going to utilize it um, as kind of just a, like a nice kind of touch in to get some other eyes on her as she hears Shane and my voice all the time on lifting. So wanted to go uh, from an outside perspective and get another 
um, kind of voice in there to just kind of break through any type of barriers that and hear cues from different coaches. So we've seen, you know, some really good progress in here. Um, it's been nice for her to get out of our gym environment and be able to just go do her own thing for a little bit with this weightlifting. Um, and Osmond's been a great uh, person to have in our corner um, and help us along. And it really kind of worked out well that we're hitting the weightlifting total here, um, having been doing this since semis leading into the games. Liv, what's up? Not much, just getting ready to lift. What do we have on the docket today? We have a clean and jerk, ladder, and front squats. Do you, do you lift seven days a week? Or six? Five. Five? Five days a week. How long do you take to warm up? Like, Tola takes like an hour. Are you like a, a solid warm up person? Or are you more up? I mean, I do like to stretch for a while, but probably only 30 minutes. Not too long. I like to get in and out of here. During when you're not here, since you're still in school, how long do you actually train for every day? Like three and a half hours of chilling. So yeah, I have to squeeze it all into that. So I'm pretty used to going like fast. Do you ever go before school? Mm -hmm. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hey, Olivia and Sid. Yeah, I think so. I think it's one of those things too, right? Like with any world championship, you don't know what you're in store for until you get there, right? So to be mentally prepared for something you've never done is hard, right? That's the reality of it. I think what we lean to, even with the vet, the vet athletes, is just being prepared physically, understanding that you've gone through a series of tests, you've gone through the adaptation, you've gone through a long progression of training to prepare you the best for something. Um, and that's what we've done, right? And you lean onto those experiences to develop or to create calluses in your mind of how mentally focused and prepared you are. Uh, I think because CrossFit's so young, I don't think there's a big conflict or you should be concerned too much about that. It's evolving rapidly, like no, year, no two years are the same. So that seems to be on the advantage of like, hey, it's okay to go straight into it. Um, I know we've conducted a lot of conversations with Olivia and talked about, hey, just remember, this is just our starting foundation. What we project or what we want, what we should be collectively thinking about is long term. And in fact, we had this conversation last Friday and said, look, I know at the start of the season we had goals and we talked about expectations. We've got to revisit them because you've, you've ticked them all off. You know, we've talked about your running capacity improvement. We've talked about ticking that games ticket. You've done all that, so let's start evolving and thinking about our next step of um, goal setting. And uh, and we had a great chat about that. And to see her switch, not necessarily mentally, but just to put her priorities in the right area, asking better questions surrounding her goal, I could see that on a day to day basis. So I credit her for all that. to have bad days. I don't know. I had a pretty bad snatch day, but my clean jerks felt good, so. What, what do you think is wrong with snatch? Is it just like tired? Or yeah, I think I'm just tired. I think I was in the sun too much. Uh, I don't keep track, but I probably have like four or five of these. And I try and have um, like salts and stuff with it. Uh, what we're gonna do is three fast slots, and we're gonna do some thrusters. But for the most part, maybe, Wheel your bar over there. You probably don't need all that. Yeah. Your weights are 135, 145, 155. So we can keep this. Okay. Keep the blues if you want it. And then uh, we'll uh, get into it, okay? Okay. That's the energy I love to hear. So we made it back to the gym? Yep. Today we have some biking and legless rope runs and standby clean, or standby carry. It's hot in here. Well, I drink those things like 45 ounces, and I'd say I probably have like five. I don't track it, but I would assume I drink about five of them. On rest day though, like drinking two of them is hard. Yeah. 
many pits are you going through a day? <laughs> I knew that was coming. Like two or three, depending on the day. I just sweat a lot and then I change. Or we have rope climbs, so I need leggings. Where's your leggings? You have rope climbs. I forgot mine. I'm wearing my helmet though. <laughs> Are you wearing your helmet the whole time? The whole time and my sunglasses. <laughs> no way. Please get this on video. <laughs> get to the chopper. What if anyway. they made it a rule you gotta take your helmet off? Well then guess what? I do one of these. Oops. Take it off. Oops. You need to practice that. Set that down right here. Do my thing. Come back. Just like that. It's for, it's for speed. It's aerodynamic. Yeah. What was that first set? That was huge. <laughs> I think I did, yeah, nine. And then I was like, shoot, I have nine more. What you did? 30 muscle. Did that run a lot? Um, I did it like right when I started proving like as a benchmark. But yeah, they've definitely come a long way from that. I'd probably PR by like a minute or two. I have a question. Hmm. Why do you hold loogies on your hands? Okay, it's not loogies, it's spit. Because it makes this paste with chalk and it just sticks to the bar. Where'd you learn that? I honestly think I did in gymnastics because, well, I used to have a water bottle that would squirt and I would squirt it on here. I took it to Granite Games and Tia about lost spit. She said I wasn't allowed to use it anymore. So then I had to resort to spit. What do you mean? Like, it was embarrassing that you were out there just spraying? Yeah, because it was like this little mini water bottle. I mean, we did that in gymnastics. Like, when you chalk up, there's like a water bottle. So you like spray it and then chalk. I didn't even know you did gymnastics. Well, when I was in high school. Yeah, you can't tell. <laughs> oh, where do I begin with Sid? Biggest progress. Biggest progress. Uh, I think... I think finding her own rhythm, finding her own like uh, her own self, particularly in workouts, um, that's been a big lesson. Oh, sorry, a big discovery for herself. The past seven or eight weeks, um, we've seen a lot of progress in that. And what that looks like for us is comprehending or understanding what her limitations are in workouts, rather than comparing to or having training partners that would uh, normally or naturally give her some reference. So that's been a big one. Uh, in terms of like physical attributes that we've seen, uh, strength and gymnastics, the high skill, I think, I think at this point in time, right, that she's going to have a substantial growth in a lot of her uh, gymnastics and strength just because she hasn't been doing it as long as many other athletes. But what, what I'm most proud of or what I've been really intrigued or very excited to follow with her journey is just her desire to want to work and and push herself. That looks different on every athlete, but to see her be curious enough or wanting to do extras or more, it seems to be like a breath of fresh air. I think once you work with a lot of veteran athletes, they're very conscious of what their limitations are or what their best looks like. For her, she she comprehends or recognizes that she's still trying to find out what her ceiling is. So for me, that's it's been awesome to watch. And and, and the tone that we're trying to set here at the camp or for, for her and her expectation of the competition of the games, what's taking place in a week, is just to allow herself to enjoy it, but challenge herself in areas, and we'll, we'll talk about it post games, but just challenge her in other aspects of the games. What do we got today? Chicken and rice. Yeah. What about that sauce? That's, that was like the secret. 
Chick-fil-A is pretty much here. Oh, nice. I was going to say, the normal Chick-fil-A sauce is like the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, I cannot eat that while training. I mean, I hate it because... Mayo based. Exactly. So, it's like a good like, Grab the gold. Mango. You go through all of this in one day? No, I just pick and choose what I want. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for like grab the gold and I'll eat like three. Sometimes I'll want one of these, one of these, one of these. You have a good day in life. Huh. It's okay. I've had better days. That's it. A glamorous day in the life. I think people think it's fun, but it's not. <laughs>